guys, my name is Julia and we're finally doing the end of the back on track challenge because I also went off track. Um, so today is all about arms and abs and let's just get started and let you wait too long. So let's just start by sitting onto our heels. You can also sit in a cross-legged position but whatever feels comfortable for you. And let's bring our arms out to either side and we're going to warm up the shoulders here. So really elevate through the fingers, really extend the arms, activating all of the muscles. I'm going to start by just bringing the arms up and then down to the back. So it's kind of going back diagonal, up diagonal and back. And connect with the breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, down. It's a nice breathing exercise, getting you connected to the breath and the body all at the same time whilst really working on warming up those shoulders, warming up the entire arms. And really push back, activating those triceps that we know and love so much from Chaturanga. Just five more. Four, three, two, and one. Bringing your arms now to a goal post shape. You're going to bring the arms together and out. Together and out. And it's all about keeping those elbows high and then really pressing the shoulder blades together in the back. Maybe you're feeling already warm, I know I am. The shoulders can heat up really quickly because um, unless you're weightlifting, it's not often that we're really using these parts of the body. So it's great for people like myself that work on a computer to really strengthen the shoulders and the back muscles and the core to keep us really stable and our spine and lower back protected while we are sitting for longer periods of time. Now bring the arms up overhead to touch and then in behind the back, squeezing up and squeezing. Keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. A nice warm up here. If you need to stop at any time, just shake your arms out and then start again, keep going. We'll go for five more. Inhale up, exhale, three, two. Squeeze at the back, one. Amazing. And now we're gonna use the arms and the abs together by inhaling, rolling forward, getting the fingers to touch, and then really activating the core so the belly button's pressing towards the back. And then exhale back. Inhale, coming forward. And back. And exhale. And back. Two more. Exhale. And back. And exhale. And back. And shake it out. Good job. Hopefully the hands and the arms are all warmed up now and come straight into tabletop and let's keep going. So we're in the tabletop here and what we're going to do is get ourselves into a nice position with the shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees. We're going to do cat cow but as we're coming down, so belly comes down and as we come into cat, we push the mat away with the hands, push into the tops of the feet and we lift those knees off the mat. So like this, chin into the chest, gazing down and then we do our cow again. So are we ready? Hands planted firmly, spread those fingers out wide, and we begin. So inhale, dropping the belly, opening the chest. Exhale, pushing the knees off the mat, pushing the mat away. Dropping the knees, dropping the belly, open the chest. Exhale, pushing the mat away. Knees coming up. Three more, down. And exhale up. And down. And exhale up. And again, down and exhale up. And this time we're going to stay here and see if you can lift the right foot off the mat. Circle the knee five times in one direction and five times inside. And release that foot. Left foot comes up, circling to the outside. This is really hard, so try and keep going. And circling to the inside for four, three, two, one. Release the knees down, sit back onto the heels and shake out the hands. Whew. Good work, but we've only got 15 minutes together, so we're going to make the most of it. It's going to be fiery, but you're going to feel awesome, super strong in the shoulders, the core, back, everything after this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back forward into our tabletop and simply step our feet back into we're in a high plank position. Holding here for five, four, three, two, 
one. Pushing those hips back, coming into downward facing dog. And now taking anything you need here in downward dog, maybe you want to shake out the head, maybe you want to put one heel down at a time, stretching out the back of the legs. And then when you're ready, we're going to come forward into a plank. And again, holding here for five, four, three, two, one, back to downward dog. Inhaling forward, five, four, three, two, one. We'll do this two more times. Coming forward, working on that shoulder strength, working on the core strength, dropping that butt down. Two, one, and back. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Now this time we're gonna take the same movements, catch your breath as I explain the next motion. So we're in downward dog. What we're going to do is we'll roll forward, bring our right knee to our right elbow, come back to downward dog, and then switch sides, left knee, left elbow. So all together now, inhaling, coming forward, right knee, right elbow, coming back to downward dog. Left knee to left elbow, and downward dog. Switching sides, and back, side, and back, now on the right, and back, and the left, and back, two more on each side, and back, really lift that knee high, and back, last one, feel those shoulders really burning now, and back, and up, an amazing drop, those knees down, again, come sit back on the heels, Whew. so I almost want to make this like a yoga hip workout where we do an exercise, we catch our breath again and then we come back into it so we can really give our all in each of the sections. So now you've got your breath, we're going to come back forward and we're going to come into Chaturanga push-ups. So again, trying to keep those shoulders over the wrists. You can cross at your ankles or whatever feels good for you, lifting the legs up, keeping them down. What you want to do is just work on getting that spine long. So I like to lift my feet up because it helps to straighten the back. And then we're going to inhale, come forward. We're going to exhale, come down into Chaturanga, push up, and we'll do it four more times, down and up, hugging those elbows in towards the body, down and up, we've got two more, and up, down and up, and this time just go down really slowly until you come all the way to lying on your belly, good work, so you should feel really nice here lying down for a moment. We're going to work on another part, get off the wrist and work on the back and the core muscles together by zipping our legs together, so really pushing energetically the thighs and the feet together, bring your forehead down onto the mat and having both hands planted down by you, palms facing down, arms out long and strong. And as you inhale, simply lift your head, neck and shoulders off the mat. And C is in this position, if you really activate all of the muscles in your body, so the thighs are strong, your glutes are working, your shoulders are working, your chest is working, you'll find yourself coming up even higher. And exhale lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale lower. We'll do this three more times. Inhale to lift. And exhale lower. Lift. And exhale lower. Last time, really keep active in the whole body and lower, and then this time stay down with the top half of your lower body. And now we're going to work on the lower half. So, zipping those legs together, or if it's too hard for you, you can also have your feet hip width distance apart. Either way, we're going to lift and lower for five. So, inhale, lift the legs up and lower. Lift and lower. Three more, lift and lower, feel those glutes working, lift, and lower, last time, lift, and lower, and this time, inhale, lift everything off the mat, you can interlace those fingers behind your back, zip the legs together, gaze forward, no tension in the neck, inhaling, lifting even higher, for five, four, three, two, one, good job, release, bring your hands down to either side, and just come back into a nice child's pose for a moment. You can widen your knees as wide as, well, as, wide as the mat. <laughs> Bring your knees there. Relax your forehead down. 
Let everything just become heavy for a moment. This is your time to really catch your breath. Inhale. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. Inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. And then slowly coming forward, we're going to come onto our forearms now. And yes, you guessed it, we're coming into another plank. So bring those four hands, four hand, four arms down, oh my god. And then bring the legs out behind you. Keep that butt down. We're just going to work on pushing through the forearms. And we're going to take some side hip dips. Now this is something I freaking hate, but it's so good for you. It's working the obliques and the core. So we're going to tip one hip down and then the other. And we'll do it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Starting on the other hip. Left, right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, amazing work, forearm plank holding, five, four, three, two, one. Releasing the knees down, sit back into child's pose. We won't be in this child's pose for too long, as we'll make this an active recovery, getting a little bit out of the core work, coming back into that arm work, and we're gonna come forward as we inhale, bring that chest over the wrist, down as we exhale, lift, and back to child's pose. So we come forward through a tabletop, chaturanga push-up, and back. And then coming forward, and coming down halfway. Lifting yourself up, and back. Only two more, and down, lift, and back. And then one last time, down, and see if you can hold down here in halfway for five, Feel the shake, four, three, two, one. Amazing, my arms are hurting as well. Come back, cross over to the ankles, and come to sit on your butt. So finally, we were off the arms, so that should be you for today. And what we're gonna do is work on some core boat pose because it is amazing for really activating every part of your body and strengthening the core especially. So catch your breath. Bring your hands to the back of your thighs, roll those shoulders down the back. Find yourself feeling really strong here already in the back, in the core, really straightening your spine. And then slowly lifting the feet off the mat. Seeing how this feels, allow the wobble, the shake. I like to, at this moment, start to play with taking my hands off and then bring your hands by your feet. We're going to hold here for five. Four, feeling as if your chest is being lifted. Three, two, and one. And then dropping the right toe down and lifting the leg back up. Left toe and up. Three. And two. And one. And then all together, everyone try and straighten the legs up as much as you can, holding here for five. Invite the shaking is good. Three, two, one. Amazing work. Bring those feet down onto the mat and just slowly make your way onto your back, which should feel really awesome right now. Let's take a moment bringing those knees into the chest. It always feels so nice to hug the knees into the body, rock from side to side and massage that lower back. Breathe deeply here. You can turn your knees one direction in a circle and the other direction. And then we're going to take one last blast of a workout as we bring our legs up as straight as we can get them. Don't worry if they're bent here. What we're going to do is we're going to crisscross the feet so they're coming almost as low as you can before your lower back comes off the mat and then crisscrossing them back up. And when you come up, lift the butt up a little bit, and then we do it the other way. So crisscross the other way, and plant those arms by your side. Really use the arms, pushing into the mat to help you. And then lift, and crisscross. We're gonna do this a few more times, so just really feel your edge, feel where your legs start to really activate and your lower back comes up. Just hold off, come back. 
and then use the strength. And then exhale. So keeping those legs going is a great workout for the inner thighs, for the lower back, uh, sorry, for the lower abs especially, and also for the triceps if you really use your arms here to help you push down into the mat. We'll do two more. And coming back up. And lift. Last one. And coming back up. And lift. And let's end with a biggie. It's a Pilates move called the hundreds. So keeping those legs up, curl up, chin in towards the chest so your neck is long. And we're going to pump the air. You can use your breath to really help you stay strong here. Lifting up high. Making sure there's no tension in the neck. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Ah, amazing work, guys. So rock yourself from side to side. Massage that lower back. Give yourself a big hug. You deserve it. Catching the breath. And then slowly dropping your knees over to the right. We're going to take a nice spinal twist. And bringing the left arm out to the side, either straight or in goal post. Close off the eyes and really reap the rewards of this workout. Calming the breath, slowing it down, checking back in with the body with the eyes closed. How does it feel? How does the mind feel now? Take one more deep. Cleansing breath on this side. Maybe sigh out the mouth. Slowly coming back through center. Taking the other arm out to the side. Legs over to the side. Keeping that shoulder blade down. Gazing over to the right hand. And then closing off the eyes. Really inhaling. Allowing more energy to come through the body. Replenishing your source. And exhale. Allow yourself to really become heavy here. Feel supported by the mat beneath you. And exhale. Last deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale, sigh out the mouth. Slowly coming back to center. Hugging those knees in for one last time. And then rocking your way up to a seated position, massaging the spine as you come up. You just find yourself cross-legged on the middle of your mat. <sighs> so thank you for joining me for this really short, but hopefully really strengthening practice for you. I think it's so important, especially, that we work all parts of the upper body as well, um, mainly just because I realise with our modern life, we can really need that support for sitting a lot longer, we can need that support because we're texting or we're crunched over, so if we strengthen the shoulders and the back and the core, we can keep a straight spine and hopefully this will mean that as we get older, um, we will really stay healthier for longer and also it makes you look good. So whatever you're here for, thank yourself for coming. You can bring your hands together, heart centre, bow to yourself, you made it and have an amazing day. Namaste.